The Stages of Meiosis by Ethan Nightingale and Jack Taylor. Meiosis, or reduction division, begins with a simple germ cell. Interphase, the longest part of the cell's life, includes the growing and performing of normal functions. DNA synthesis happens during this period also. Then meiosis begins the first stage, prophase 1. The DNA condenses to form chromosomes that are fixed to their copies and at the center by a centromere. Spindle fibers also begin to form between the recently separated centrioles. By the end of prophase 1, each chromosome fixed to its copy to its, is next to its similar chromosome group. This forms a homologous group. The nuclear envelope dissolves. In prophase 1, it is common that an event known as crossing over can occur. If this happens, part of the first chromosome pair will switch part of its homologous partner, creating a more diversely coded chromosome. This is the beginning of metaphase. In metaphase, the chromosomes move to the middle of the cell. The centrioles move to opposite ends of the cell and the spindle fibers attach to the chromosomes at their centromeres. The metaphase is basically a preparatory step to anaphase. If the homologous group does not separate during this step, an error called non-dysfunction will occur. This is the beginning of anaphase. In anaphase, the spindle fibers pull one of its chromosomes from the homologous pair to each end of the cell. Also, cell membranes begin to stretch. This slide is the start of telophase. In telophase, the cell starts to split into two cells. This slide is the start of cytokinesis. In cytokinesis, the cell pinches the membranes and creates two cells, each with its diploid number of chromosomes. This is the start of meiosis 2 in prophase 2. In prophase 2, spindle fibers start to appear in each daughter cell by the centrioles, and a nuclear envelope in each cell that is formed in telophase 1 dissolves. The chromosomes begin to prepare for metaphase 2. Now begins metaphase 2, in which the chromosomes line up on either side of the cell and the spindle fibers that span the cell attach to each of at their centromeres. Now begins anaphase 2, in which one of the in which one side of each chromosome is pulled to the opposite sides of the cell by the spindle fibers. The cell membrane begins to stretch. Now begins telophase 2. This is telophase. This is telophase as it happens in spermogenesis. This the cell begins to split into two sperm cells. New nucleuses also form around the chromosomes. Here spermogenesis, spermogenesis cytokinesis begins and the two cells fully divide into four haploid sperm cells, each with different genetic codes. And now, finally, there are four different sperm, all four ready to race to the egg. In females, on the other hand, a process known as oogenesis is undergone. This is very similar to spermogenesis, but instead of creating four equal-sized sperm cells, it creates one large egg cell and three extra incomplete cells that soon die. The egg must be much larger than the sperm so that, after fertilization, it can begin to develop a zygote. And here is a large single egg, much bigger than a sperm, but still carrying the same haploid amount of genetic material. And that is the story of meiosis.